And closer to home here to our big stories of the night, a deadly accident at a mall parking deck. And tonight, one of the two men trapped by thousands of pounds of concrete there is fighting for his life. Right now, a construction worker is in Maryland's shock trauma center hours after a section of that parking deck came crashing down on top of it. While one worker survived, another was killed at the Westfield Montgomery Mall. That's in Bethesda. Robert Lyles has spent the evening there at the scene, and he has the latest on what went wrong. It was a partial collapse of the parking garage behind me. And as I step out of the way, the garage here at Montgomery Mall remains darkened. Horrifying to the witnesses who saw what happened here and horrifying to the emergency crews because they responded to a double deck collapse at NIH just a short distance from where I stand. But those crews know one thing tonight, one life lost nearly a decade ago may have saved one life tonight. Emergency responders are hesitant to use a word like miracle, but when this construction worker trapped beneath 50,000 pounds of concrete was not only pulled out alive, but smiles and gives the thumbs up, emergency responders will use words like amazing. The ability to, to extricate the one uh, and send to a local hospital was, was amazing. It was just before 2 p.m. when eyewitnesses heard an unbelievable sound. Uh, I would say like I, a, a really loud bomb. Authorities say construction crews were attempting to remove what's called a double T or support beam when it collapsed. And I didn't realize it was the parking you know, garage that had collapsed. 20 workers were on the deck, two were trapped. I hope they get them all right. I mean, we pray for them. So crews raced in with four by fours and chainsaws. It was a lesson learned from November 2004. Over half of the technical rescue folks that were here today were at the NIH parking garage collapse. The collapse of two decks killed one worker and injured a dozen more. The lesson learned, say first responders, come heavily equipped and come in large numbers. Constantly thinking about that tonight and today while we were operating here. That included the GO team, surgeons and nurses from shock trauma, transported from Baltimore to Bethesda. But the 50,000 pounds of rubble proved too much for one worker. He died from his injuries. But his co-worker could hear the GO team, and after four hours beneath the crushing concrete, he was free and alive. For most of today, the parking garage was a crime scene, and that's because it was a death investigation. But Montgomery County Police say they've now turned that parking garage back over to Whiting Turner. Whiting Turner is the company responsible for the renovations. Montgomery Fire tells us tonight it is their responsibility to update why there was a collapse here. As for the construction worker who survived this collapse, no word yet on his medical condition. In Bethesda, I'm Robert Lyles, ABC 7 News. All right, Robert.